Dear Ksenia Evgenievna, can you please explain what effects pictures posted on social media, especially vulgar ones, have on the energy of the person and their partner, husband or wife? They have a negative effect, a very negative one. First of all, a person who shows herself on social media opens up. In this moment that person opens up. If that person publishes intimate photos or explicit photos, then she opens up herself even more, twice as much or maybe even thrice as much. And the magic law that exists and will continue to exist and hasn't been cancelled says that control over a subject, any subject, is facilitated by having a good visual image of the given subject. And the better the image, the easier the control over the subject is. Transposing this law onto your question, we can answer as follows. If your pictures are to be found online, then it's easier to gain control over you. If it is a master of its craft, an experienced individual, then putting a spell on you and creating a lot of visible and invisible problems will generally not be something difficult for him to do. But luckily not everyone is a master. However, it doesn't take a master to throw an evil eye at someone. An evil eye directed towards a completely opened up consciousness leads to a guaranteed breach and a jinx. A healthy psych and a healthy energy will get rid of a jinx pretty quickly. But it's hard to call someone a person with a healthy psyche and a healthy energy who thinks that it is okay to post intimate photos online without consequences. Such people usually start having many troubles later on. As a rule health problems that are usually related to the organs of the reproductive system and sometimes even worse. They tend to get into unpleasant situations. Out of the blue, they behave carelessly around people, which lowers their critical thinking, allowing them to get into such circumstances. On the one hand, these are external provocations, which the consciousness will either overcome or not. And on the other hand, I would call it an elimination game. Because if a foolish consciousness lacks the awareness of what sort of world it lives in, and in what sort of world it does all the things that it does, then let it figure it out by reaping the consequences of its actions. By learning in the process, a person that exposes her own intimate or explicit pictures experiences a loss of rights. And this is concerning that person's informational significance. Because letting yourself fall so low means lowering yourself to a very low cost level. And the egregorial world will perceive you in no other way than as a person of a lower class of a fall class, as they would say it in the old days. Respectively, the resources of the surrounding world and this series of events that this egregorial world will construct will be accessible only in and to the realm of the fall class. This will head all areas of life – finances, health and reasoning. The person becomes quite primitive. After a while, he or she adopts a fragmentary way of thinking, because it's easier that way. They start having memory issues, because having a long memory is no longer in their power, subsequently fully degrading in its sense, up to a total loss of rights. And if this takes place at a young age, then it is possible at least to remedy it in some way. Yes, because generally parents are responsible for their children. And in this case, the parents will be the ones to pay the full price. But if this takes place at an adult age, in this case, well, the picture is clear. The picture is clear. But, colleagues, since we're not discussing social behavioral norms in the surrounding social environment, 
but are talking about magic, let's address the magic aspect of the question. That is an immutable law of interaction of a magical consciousness with the surrounding reality, or simply with people. An unwritten law, but that is known by all as Christians would know the Our Father. It states, the less knowledge the surrounding world has about you, the better. This concerns everything, including the publication of certain private details of your personal life on social media. The surrounding environment surely insists on the opposite. On the contrary, praising people that are, so to say, open for the society. And this idea is in many ways cultivated, that a person should be open to society and certain sources that one would like to interact with on the grounds of some interests, ask to sign up through your social media, for example. I think everyone has encountered this. Or when it's required to leave a link to your social media, also completely normal nowadays. Why is this needed? In order to uncover more of your background information, to understand who you are, who your contacts are, what makes you get out of bed in the morning, what level you belong to, what class, in order to provide you with potential offers in terms of products and services, or simply to suggest an interaction sphere according to this internal rule that certain systems use in their algorithms. And this is very much supported and praised between people that have absolutely no magical knowledge. However, those who work with the energo-informational layers of this world understand that opening yourself up to the egregorial world this way means having no respect for yourself, because magic stands above the egregores, and when you open up, in her eyes, you become lower than the egregores, and this is an absolutely unacceptable thing. Therefore, if the circumstances force you to interact with the human world, create a mask for yourself. Create such an account that will only show what you want others to see, but not who you truly are. That information should always stay hidden. Even showing it to your close circle isn't always necessary, let alone to strangers. And for a magical consciousness, almost everyone is a stranger. And at one point, everyone becomes a stranger. This isn't good or bad, it's just a safety measure. Therefore, it's better not to open up. But as I already said, society insists that one's social media profile should be as open and public-facing as possible, then make one that will show you, as you want to be seen by those who are so very interested in your private photos. So. Another question that has been asked in this, we can call it a cry from the heart, is how do such pictures influence the partner, husband or wife? Badly, I will say. Because husband and wife carry a shared responsibility on the caste level, the class level. If the wife does things as described, it obviously puts down the husband. And when the husband does them, then it lowers them both down to the level he is considered to have morally fallen to. So everyone suffers from it. Everyone suffers. Let's call this a hygiene of the informational profile, hygiene of one's own family, hygiene of the partnership. Because if in a couple one part is busy with this sort of informational exhibitionism, then it is worth asking yourself a question. What is my partner trying to find in the outer world this way? Why does he or she need this kind of exposure. Why is there a need to invite others to peek behind closed doors? And possibly it's worth considering whether you truly need such kind of partnership. But this is sort of in the grand scheme of things. The grand scheme of things. 
However, sooner or later you will ask yourself this question. What motivates my partner to attract additional erotic attention in such a way? Does it mean that children's pictures shouldn't be shown? My daughter posts pictures of my granddaughter and she's just four months old. My grandma wouldn't show her children to anybody for the entire first year of their life. Your grandma was right, because a child is very vulnerable at this age. And this way, you opened your child up to a countless number of users. And I don't mean maniacs, I mean simple people, spiteful people, people that hate each other especially as of late, hating without reason, wanting to take out their hatred on the weakest. Why put your children at such risk? Don't do that. It's not necessary. Then you will wonder why your child is ill, why he's fuzzy, why... Problems arise where there actually shouldn't be any. People are envious and unkind, especially now. They will not be changing soon. Remember that you live in an aggressive environment of people that have been made like this, which doesn't excuse them, because freedom of choice and an oak were given to everyone. Everyone has the right to be a bastard or not to be a bastard, to be strong or to be weak, to depend on the system or not to depend on it. Freedom of choice has been given to everyone. Some have made good use of it, some have not. But don't put yourself at risk this way. Don't pay with your children for the necessity to fit into the general principles of a semi-marginal open society. Don't do it. Don't do it. Open society, as it is being proposed to us nowadays, is a very bad idea. Not within the system, not within the current operating system.